I had a really sad case in the hospital recently that I think provides such a good reminder about food and nutrition and wellness. The patient was a young woman, actually about my age, who was severely, severely malnourished due to a terrible eating disorder that she actually struggled with for years and years. And while she was in the hospital, we actually at one point got a scan of her brain and it was visibly shrunken actually due to malnutrition. She also had a profound vitamin deficiency that would have been fatal if it had not been corrected. Now, as a general internist in the hospital, I do see cases like this from time to time, but I have to say this was probably the worst one that I've ever seen. But if you look back at the majority of human history, famine was actually rampant and starvation was one of the top threats to human life. And now in places like the United States, food is abundant for many people. And it's definitely abundant if you're rich, if you have a lot of money. And these are the circles in which diet culture and wellness culture predominates. And in these circles, food has been demonized. It has been turned into the enemy. And it's almost as if we've forgotten that not having food is lethal. So I actually think it'd be a good idea to not forget that, to keep that in mind, to not view food as the enemy and to actually be grateful for it.